Hi friends, welcome to Moody Blooms. Today we're gonna to learn how to propagate pothos. Now these are super easy to grow, super easy to propagate, and you can see that they start to grow these nice beautiful vines. And uh, one option that I like to do is, if you wanna make this, see how it's kind of sparse right here in the middle, or on the side rather. What I like to do is just take one of the vines and then wrap it around. There's these little greening pins or floral pins and you can just take them and kind of stick them right in the soil. And these can be used again and again. And then you can just kind of pin them down wherever you want that added fullness. And then eventually they'll root from these little nodes right here into the soil. And then I'll add some soil on top to kind of cover the nodes as well. But another option is to propagate the cuttings and put them in soil or water. And the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get some sharp shears and make sure they're nice and clean. Make sure that you have disinfected them because we don't wanna spread any diseases or bacteria to the new cuttings or to the, the plant parents. So just make sure you're using some clean shears. And then also you wanna make sure they're nice and sharp. And another thing you wanna do is know where to cut. So if you notice on the vine, see here there's these, at the bottom of most of the leaves, there's a little node, see these? And on each of the cuttings, you're gonna want at least one node and at least one leaf. I would say one to two leaves at most. So um, let's go ahead and cut those. So you're gonna to wanna to remove the stem so you have, so I'm gonna cut in between this node and cut in between this node. And then again, see the node here and then another node here. I'm gonna cut right there. And then on this one, we're gonna cut in between these two. And then on this end, I'll probably keep this end and then take one of my floral pins and kind of prop that up there with the floral pin. Actually, I might even put it a little bit closer. And then again, on this one, we can take some cuttings on this long piece, or we can wind it up so that it's more full on top. I'm gonna to take a few cuttings from it. So again, here's our node right here. I'm gonna cut in between there. And then again, in between these two nodes. And then I'll probably leave that And then some of these you can just set in there. I'm gonna go ahead and just pin this guy up. Whoops. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna take one more right here. And then we'll pin. And those pins just kind of hold those in place. You want to make sure that the node is touching the soil that way it actually roots into the soil and i'll add some soil on top of there as well so now we have these cuttings here and you can go ahead and dip them in some rooting hormone if you'd like or you can go ahead and just um, set them in some soil or water so i'm going to show you two different ways to propagate those um, this one i could go ahead and remove this lower leaf the more nodes you have on a cutting, the better odds you have of getting some roots to grow out of these nodes. Um, or you can just go ahead and I can make another cut here. And then um, I'm just gonna do that actually. So I have plenty of these. So we'll go ahead and set these in soil or water. And I'm gonna show you how to do both of those as well. We have all of our supplies to propagate our pothos cuttings in water and in soil. So for the soil, 
have water propagation, you're gonna need either a jar of water and any jar will do. I love using like antique milk glass jars or um, any, any vase will do, or even a little cup will do, it's totally fine. Um, another thing you're gonna wanna make sure you do is that, that when you put the water in, none of the leaves are touching the water. It'll actually rot and it encourages bacterial growth. So we definitely don't wanna do that. And you wanna make sure that once it's in the water that you put it in a area that's bright and that gets lots of bright indirect light. We don't want it to be where it's getting direct sun because it will burn. There's not a, an established root on there. So you don't wanna have it next to a window where it has some cold drafts because it may slow down the growth as well. And these can be just set right in the water. And again, you wanna make sure the node is completely in the water. And you're gonna to wanna to change the water out every couple days whenever it starts to look a little bit cloudy because we want to make sure it has the best possible chance for propagation because the roots need air in order to grow and the fresh water every day is going to give them the oxygen that will be depleted every couple days. So make sure you go ahead and swap that out. You want to transfer the cuttings that have been in water after they have about an inch or two of roots because the longer you wait to transfer them to soil, the harder chance they'll have at acclimating to the soil. It's not impossible, but it definitely is reduces your chance of having a successful propagation. Okay, so to pot the pothos cuttings directly into soil, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you get some well-draining potting soil like we have here. I have just some regular potting mix that I've added some perlite to help with the drainage. And then we're gonna take um, a group of cuttings and put them in your nursery pot. And then we're just going to add some soil. And you're going to want to fill it up to just above the rim of the pot. And then we're gonna immediately water, get rid of the air pockets. Let some of that water drain out at the bottom. We'll add some more. You're gonna water the pot thoroughly, allowing the excess to drain out the bottom and leave the pot in a warm spot with plenty of indirect light, but no direct sun because we don't wanna burn the leaves. Keep the soil moist by misting every couple of days and wait for new growth. So if you want, another option is to dip your cuttings in some rooting hormone and it'll definitely increase the chances of your cuttings rooting, but it's not required. Now, as far as the cuttings that we have in water, you want to wait till the roots are visible at least an inch long. And this may take several weeks, but the cuttings will remain in the water for about two to three months without any issues. When you're ready to transplant the cuttings that are in the water into soil, you're going to do the same thing that we did when we potted them up. You're going to go ahead and put them into a nursery pot, add some well-draining soil. And again, you're gonna to wanna to work water thoroughly after planting to get rid of any air pockets in the soil and to stimulate further root growth. Now keep the soil well watered for the next few months while the plant gets used to its new environment. Okay, this is kind of embarrassing, but here's what not to do. So I had several cuttings in here. I took some out, planted them, have a whole new plant, completely forgot about this guy. Eventually the algae is gonna be Disgusting, like gross, what is happening here? And the roots are ridiculous. Like I, this is insane. And they're completely covered in algae. I don't even think there's hope for this guy, but you know, you never know, pothos are really resilient plants. So 
this is what not to do for don't forget about them and forget to change up the water and see how it's like the sad, weird shaped leaves. And this is, can we call this a leaf? I mean, what is going on here? Anyways, this is what not to do. You can see the disgusting algae water in there. Bad, bad plant mom. Anyways, we're not going to do that with these guys. This is going to be beautiful and healthy and happy and healthy. So while we're on the subject of what not to do, I want to show you another pothos cutting that I forgot about again. This guy has been in here in kind of a darker spot. It's got plenty of roots to go into soil, but since it didn't get enough light, see how the leaves are kind of not super happy. This one's kind of yellowing a bit. It just was left in a too dark of an area, but um, definitely want to get these put in some soil um, as well. And how cute are these little antique Coke bottles? Thanks so much for joining us on Moody Blooms. We hoped you learned something new about propagating the pothos or pothos plant and we hope to see you next time. If you're new to our channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button to be notified of new videos as soon as they come out and leave us a comment below if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions and ways that you propagate your pothos, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. I love reading your comments and I really appreciate your support and hope to see you next time on Moody Blooms.